Welcome back now to an update on a story we first brought you on Wednesday in efforts to save the historic Wilkes House in Banks, which it now appears were unsuccessful. Ashley Grams is live in Banks and Ashley, I imagine this is hard to see for people who were hoping to find a solution. Definitely. People told me they had no idea that this was going to happen. This morning we were here when the historic Wilkes House came crashing to the ground. It's difficult to see behind these trees, but a stark contrast compared to what I saw when I was here just two days ago. Here's what some community members told us today. They were sad to see it go. On Friday morning, an excavator got to work. You can see it move through the trees. I'm shocked gutting this home in the small town of Banks, Oregon. I could see part of the roof down and so it's just heartbreaking. Heartbreaking because this house was over 150 years old, built for the Wilkes family, the first pioneers to settle in the area after arriving on the Oregon Trail. If we turn our backs on our history, who are we? It's a pile of lumber now, but just two days ago, the possibility of saving the Wilkes house still seemed attainable. Oh, especially when the community, the historical society has been working so hard to keep it. We never even got to finish having that discussion. Jennifer Newton is with the Banks Historical Society and says they were trying to connect with the private owner, the developer and the city. All we'd ask was for them to put it on pause. And the city responded to that effort, scheduling a conversation with Newton and her team for next week. Now, Newton says there won't be much to say. If it does show up on the city council meeting, there's nothing to talk about. Plans submitted to the city of Banks show this area will become a housing development. I thought that this part might, we might have a chance, but apparently not. And a water treatment plant could be built where the Wilkes house once sat. It sat here for 150 years and it's just been torn down in a matter of minutes. Now it's a piece of Oregon history you can only read about. Very, very sad to see something like this because this is lost. This is gone. Now, a reminder that the city does not own this property, but uh, if the development goes through as it's been filed, the city would use this space for uh, municipal use. So that could be, again, a water treatment plant. The mayor's office told me today that they were not involved in this demolition. I did reach out to the property owner and the developer and did not hear back. David. Ashley Grams in Banks this evening. Thank you, Ashley.